The grey-eyed morn smiles on the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with streaks of light, and flecked darkness like a drunkard reels from fourth day's path and tightens fiery wheels. <laughs> Now, ere the sun advance his burning eye, the day to cheer and night stank dew to dry, I must upfill this posier cage of ours with baleful weeds and precious juiced flowers. Duke Theseus announces the upcoming marriage of his daughter Hermia to nobleman Demetrius. For weeks, the city has been captured by the contest for Hermia's hand, and it seems hopeful noble Lysander has been unlucky. <laughs> All the best wishes to Hermia and Demetrius from mm. us here at Athens Daily News. In other news, record temperatures across the city as summer hits. First day of school. Very, very exciting. I was up late last night thinking of a new plan, and here it is. Fia! <gasps> I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day of school. Ha! Ah, way ahead of you there! Does, uh, does anybody know how to um, spell meteor? More validity, more honourable state, more courtship lives in carrying flies than Romeo. They may seize on the white wonder of dear Juliet's hand and steal immortal blessings from her lips, who, even in pure and best of modesty, still blush as thinking their own kisses soon. But Romeo may not. He is banished. This flies may do, when I from this must fly. They are free men, but I am banished. And sayest thou yet that exile's not death? Oh, sadness. I have a super important job that's just for you. Really? This is the circle of sadness. Hmm? Your job is to make sure that all the sadness stays inside of it. Okay? There you go. Isn't this fun? <laughs> no. How happy some or other some can be. Through Athens, I am thought as fair as she, but what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all, but he do know. And as he airs, doting on Hermia's eyes, so I, admiring of his qualities, Things base and vile, holding no quantity, love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Nor hath love's mind of any judgment taste, wings and no eyes figure unheedy haste, and therefore is love said to be a child, because in choice he is so oft beguiled. Within the infant rind of this small flower, poison hath residence and medicine power. For this part, being smelt with that part, cheers each part, being tasted, slays all senses with the heart. How hast thou the heart? Being a divine, a ghostly confessor, a sin absolver, Oh, my friend, professed to mangle me with that word. Bad you, girl. All right, everyone, fresh start, which means we're going to have a good day, which is going to turn into a good week, which will turn into a good year, which turns into a good life, okay? <laughs>